Hi, I'm Mr Taylor and I'm a classics teacher and an English teacher here at Fairfield High School. Uh, so the first question I think before we get started is what is classics? I think classics is a sort of multidisciplinary subject in that it covers lots of different things that you'll do in other subjects around Key Stage 3. So my route into it was through the literature that we study. So as part of the classics, uh, a big part of our sources are sort of uh, literature going right the way back to Homer's Odyssey. Uh, and my way into that was that I saw the impact that that had on the literature that we study in English GCSE. So the impact that that has on Shakespeare and tragedy, the sort of structure of tragedy, the impact that has on the Victorians, the impact that has on modern adaptations like the ones that you study in year nine. But it's not just literature. So it's also got huge elements of history. So we look at the archaeology of Troy. It's got huge uh, aspects of religion in that we look at mythology, we look at cultural practices, we look at festivals and it's also got some art history involved in it. So we look at sculpture and we look at an awful lot of poetry. In terms of how that's broken up across the two years, we uh, spend most of our first year doing the myth, uh, doing the myth and religion unit, which is a thematic study uh, that sort of look at, looks at myth and religion in different elements of, of ancient Greek and ancient Roman life. And then in the end part of the first year and at the start of year 11 we move on to our literature and culture unit where we look at the Mycenaeans and we look at the Homeric world. So in terms of the overview for the two years you can see on the slide we do uh, two units per, per term and uh, all of those are detailed in the sort of textbook that we use as a bit of a reader. We also have uh, the Odyssey that we look at towards the end and those are our, our sort of two of our key texts and then just like with English you'll get an anthology of, uh, of prescribed sources that go with that. So we start with shared stories, we look at the gods and we look at Hercules or Heracles, who's our universal hero. He appears in lots of Roman and lots of Greek stories. Then we spend term two looking at some of the architecture, so looking at the temples and looking at some of the symbols of power within ancient Greece and Rome. Then we look at some more shared stories. So we look at stories around uh, the foundation, so where uh, uh, places in the ancient world were set up and how they came to be and we look at some stories uh, to do with traveling to the underworld and then in term four we look at festivals and we look at death and burial so the rituals that are sort of involved in ancient Greek and ancient Roman culture. Towards the end of the year while we're getting ready for PPEs in the in the summer we start to read the Odyssey Okay, and we look at uh, five chapters from the Odyssey. And then when we come back in year 11, having read those five chapters, we then start to think about some of the sites that Homer, the writer of the Odyssey, was talking about when he was writing. So we have a look at ancient Troy and we look at Tiryns and we look at some of the places uh, where we think some of these myths might have been based. Uh, final question that lots of people ask is what are my job prospects with classics? So classics is really good in that it's, like I said, multidisciplinary and it enables you to demonstrate, I suppose, a set of skills across lots of different disciplines. In terms of things that people go on to study, you can see on the on the PowerPoint slide there, things like uh, barristers, things like market researchers, things like classicists. So going on and working for muse museums or working uh, within universities, uh, things like solicitor, things like secondary school teacher. So there are lots of job prospects and generally colleges and universities look on the study of classics very highly. If you want any more information, please feel free to come and see me in 3W01 or to drop me an email at otaylor at fairfield.excalibur.org.uk. Thank you.